Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blanc from Wild Boom and Bushcraft. Today there is a new self-sufficiency video. Many of you asked about it. Today the day is there. So I show you my farm, what is to do at the farm actually and what news are there and some tips and tricks for you. If you want, stay tuned. The white onion has also flowers now and they are edible, they are very tasty and you can use them to decorate the salad or just the plate. I know at the first sight this bed here looks not like a bed, it looks very chaotic. Everything is growing here but no vegetable. So now it is May and in May here in Germany the vegetable season for the most vegetables is starting before it is too cold. And I let everything here grow inside the bed, which I plant not, because this is the best fertilizer for your earth. Now in the springtime I dig in the ground and put the plants that are growing here under the earth. It will rotten under the earth and it will be the best fertilizer for the ground, for the earth. The plants will grow very great about on top of this plants here. All the farmers here do this. Uh, they put on seeds from flowers or something else in the ground at the fall and in the springtime they dig it under and the plants will grow very very good. So it is a lot of work, I can't do everything at once, but I have to start now because I want a starting plant now. I don't want to cut away all of these plants. For example, this plant here with the blue uh, flowers is borage. And borage is edible, the flowers and the leaves, and also the bees love them. So I need the bees that I have fruits on my plants. So I let the borage growing and then I will have a lot of flowers also on my plants. The plant with the yellow flowers here is celandine. It is also a healing plant. They use this plant in the past to remove warts because when you cut away um, and part of the plant there come um, yellow liquid outside and with this liquid you can remove the warts. Of course it needs a little bit more time than the high-tech medicine but if you want to um, solve the problem in a natural way maybe this plant is the right for you. If I would have an open vegetable bed, like this here, only naked earth, I would just dig the ground like this, put inside, move it a little bit, and that was it. Now there is enough air inside and the ground is not so hard anymore. So this would be the best for your ground. Otherwise, when you do it like this, the microorganism in your ground is complete changed. There are one on the top of the ground and then one deeper and also one deeper. And if you shake it like this, all of the microorganisms would be changed and are removed on another place. But when you have a lot of other plants like this here in your ground, of course you had to make it this way. But what I show you first would be better for your ground. The raspberries are there, but they are still green. They need a few weeks, then they are ready to eat. I have um, white of them, red and black ones, but the black ones are bitter. I use them for syrup. So, and if you want to have raspberries in your garden, but you don't want to buy them and you know someone who had raspberries, you just have to ask them if you can have a piece of the plant, so about 30 centimeters long, cut it away, remove the, um, the leaves at the under part, 
and just let here at the upper part a few leaves still there. Put it into water and in a few weeks you will have roofs and you can put it in your garden, plant it in your earth. Ready and complete without costs. The plant with the big leaves here is, is rhubarb. The leaves are not edible, but the part here under the leaves. It is very tasty, but also sour, so not everyone like it. Um, I like it and you can collect it now because later in the year there is some, there is some part of bitterness inside, which is not so healthy to eat. Now we go in the glass house, which is in reality a plastic house. And I can show you here also that lazy farmers have a good life because here is also chaos inside, but it has a positive side, which I show you now when you come inside of the glass house. Here in the background you can see my kale and rocket. The brown one, which you can see, uh, are the seeds from the rocket last year. They are falling down now and I have fresh and new plants without doing anything. And the kale is a winter plant, so I can uh, harvest them the whole winter. And now in the spring they are having flowers, the yellow ones. So. They are growing also again in this year and I have really to do nothing. Just let them grow, make them flowers, let the seeds fall down and then you can remove the plant. The same here with my salad and chard. Chard is the pink one in the background. So in Germany we say the salad schießt, which means it is shooting because it is growing so high and so fast. You can also, the salad, when the salad is shooting, it is a little bit more bitter than, but it is still edible. So, and there are also the seeds falling down and I have also fresh and coast-free plants here. So this style of gardening is nothing for a person who love to have everything on his space because it is always chaotic but this is the best one for the nature for your garden for the earth so i use the principle permaculture which means that there is always something growing the whole year you have not so much naked earth because there are also plants one higher one smaller at the ground and um, you mix them right so Every plant has his partner. When they grow together, they protect each other. And um, this stop also sweeping away the earth from the water because the roofs are in the ground and fix the earth. But everything had to, everyone had to make the decision which kind of gardener he or she would be. So I choose permaculture and not monoculture. My salads in the glass house have actually all aphids. I know some people don't want to have aphids in their salad because maybe you eat them and some people think this is disgust disgusting. So normally you can eat it, but I know it is a little bit of meat in your salad. So don't put on poison on your plants now because the aphids are the first food for the bird babies. You had just have it in your eyes, the bird babies are pretty small and they need also pretty small food. So aphids are the first food of them. And if you don't if you do nothing, the nature is taking care about it. It is a cycle. Everything takes care of itself. Now I have the aphids 
but later there will come other insects which eat them. So nature takes his self-care and then everything is fine again and the aphids are away. Who knows this plant? This is asparagus, green one. I plant this plant a few years ago. In the first year you had to let them be, not harvest it because the plant had to be strong. And after a few years you can collect it. They are very tasty, you can also eat them rare. And here is mint and this here are the flowers of field salad. The plant with the big leaves here is horse radish. I really love this plant because it helps also against cough. If you put it in your mouth into small pieces and then just breathe it, you really can feel how everything is getting clear again. And you can harvest on half of the plant and let the other half in the ground and it will grow again. You see now that my garden and also the vegetable garden is pretty green and this is also perfect for the birds because they find enough insects for the small ones. They love it. Here you can see a small bird which is coming into the birdhouse. So I have a lot of birdhouse into my garden because the birds also eat the insects that I don't want to have here. I will put the microphone now close to the nest that you can hear the small bird babies crying for food so you can hear them from far away which is not so good because a cat or some other animals will also hear it. Willow trees are really amazing. I've planted this uh, willow trees five and a half years ago only as a branch without roofs or anything else. And now they are growing so big. And they are also very important for the bees because the flowers of the willow tree is one of the first food for them in the new year. My cats live all outside, but in the springtime they have all a um, uh, bell about around their neck that the birds, especially the young birds, hear them soon and can fly away. Let's go to the animals and to the barns. This is what is left from the hay. Not too much, but I feed it them over the summer months now. So 
Um, I don't have to buy so much hay again. I will show you the reason later. Das hier ist mein neuer Gickerl. Now we are in the chicken barn and here are some old rabbit um, areas. I want to remove them to have more space. But um, the chicken doesn't want this because now it is spring and every one of them wants to breed now. So this chicken here is one of them. She has her own nest. The other chicken, three of them, has one nest together. So one is sitting over the eggs and two others are just sitting around and have no eggs under it, but they want to breed. Oh, putty, putty. Zeig mal deine Eier. Show us your eggs. So the breed that I have from the chicken is called Altsteirer. It is an Austrian breed. These are chickens. They are not getting ill. They searching the food mostly themselves. Yeah. And here you can see which big place the chicken made now to breed their eggs. The breasts are it's really wide now and the wings and when you touch it here it is pretty soft and you can feel how warm it is. Hmm? Booty. Yeah. Some chickens are really aggressive when they are breeding. This one not, so I can touch it. I can put her away from the nest, I can um, bring one of the eggs out and I will do one of the eggs out tonight because when you use your flashlight and shine the light through the egg you can see if there is an embryo inside, a baby chicken or not. The grass is really high now because I have two meadows for the sheep. They are always feeding at one meadow and the other can grow. Or I can cut it away to have um, to make dry grass hay for the winter months. I have only five chickens left. The old one, Oha, I was fighting for his life for several weeks. I showed you before, then I have the mother, Silly, with the white feet and her both children and one which is also not a man anymore and also very old. So I have no male sheep actually, but I will buy a new one in the fall again to have some new lamps next year. But over the summer months it is enough, so I don't have to buy hay, so it is enough for them over the next months to feed at the meadow. Epsen!
I had in the last year an Eco battery Landover, but it works not so good because my grass is always too high and I have too much grass. So I used uh, the last one is damaged now. I don't know why the warranty is over. So I used the chance to buy a new one. It works with benzene. So I always struggle with this here. This here has an e-start, so it works with a key much easier for me. Of course, I can cut down the meadow every few days. Then the Aku one would be also able to handle it. But I don't want an English meadow. My grass always grow high because for me it is very important that my garden and my farm is really close to nature and I have enough flowers for the insects. Birds love also such close together growing bush or a tree like this because it is invisible and they feel safe inside and they breed there. Every time I came this way they make because they are angry that I come here but I can't change the way so I had to use it. When you are not too long at the place where the bird is breeding they come back to the nest. But if you are still there for several hours, work something or it is loud, maybe they don't come back to their nest because they feel not safe anymore there. So when it is possible, don't go at places where you know that there is some bird breeding. At this time of the year, the stinging nettle is growing so fast, but it is also a good time to fight against them. It is nearly impossible to remove them complete because the um, roofs are so strong in the ground and you can't re remove all of them. And when there is just one piece left in the ground, it will grow out again. But you can, uh, you can use the power of the plant when you cut it down cut it down cut it down every few days the plant is not strong enough to grow out again but you can also eat the nettles they are very healthy full of vitamins and you can make a special liquid for your plants for your vegetable plants in the garden just cut them down give them in a bottle hot water on top um, close it and let it stand there for three, four weeks. It smells so bad, so every neighbor will run away. But when you mix it with water and give it to your plants, they will grow much better. I go now in the chicken barn because I want to check if there is an embryo inside of the egg or not. And I told you, you can see it very good in the darkness when you have a strong flashlight and it shines through the egg. But um, I can't wait, it's, it's still day, but I want to try it out now. This is the nest that I told you before. So there are always several chickens over the eggs. I don't know if the other chicken is giving up or just searching for food actually. But this is the nest where the chicken breeds for the longest time, so I will try out this nest at first. In German we have the word for chicken which are breeding or having the small chicken babies, Glucke. Because when a chicken sits over the eggs 
or is having babies, they make this noise. Gluck, 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 gluck. So in German, it is a bad word if you told parents that they are a glucke, because this means that they take too much care about their kids, which is absolutely, I don't know why people care about this. So I will show it to you this noise now. Buddies. Hmm? I closed the door now and got this one because I hope that this is a little bit darker than the chicken barn and I've got a flashlight and now I've put the egg into it and check if there is something inside. So I thought the chicken is not sitting so long over the eggs, but can you see this? The actual is cracking open and the small chicken is coming out in the next hours. Can you see this dark part here. There is the embryo, the ch small chicken. This here is the air part and when it is not knocked out I would know that there is a chicken inside. I can fight the best against the nettle with this one because it is working much harder than uh, the other that I showed you before. You see, there is a lot of work at my part-time self-sufficiency farm. It is never getting bored. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, feel free to leave a comment down there. And when you don't want to miss any video in the future, click at subscribe. We see us. Bye bye.